Number 15 asks us to find the domain of the function algebraically and support it graphically. On your quiz, you'll be doing this purely algebraically, but you can always check it on your homework graphically if you want to. For this problem, uh, remember our two issues with domain are we can't take square roots of negative numbers, so we're going to take the radicand and say that it has to be greater than or equal to zero so that it won't be negative. So first we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, and we'll get negative x is greater than or equal to negative 4. And then remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative 1 on both sides to solve for x in an inequality, you have to change your inequality symbol around. So, so far, our domain has to be the numbers less than or equal to positive 4. Next, remember that we can't divide by 0. So x plus 1 cannot equal 0, which means that x cannot equal negative 1. Well, that means that I need to have an open circle at negative 1. And so I'm going to make that an open circle here. And then finally, we'll take the other factor in the denominator, x squared plus 1, and say that it can't equal 0. Because it can't divide by 0. So x squared can't equal negative 1, but we're in luck, because no matter what you square, you're never going to get negative 1. If you were to finish this out and try taking the square root of both sides, you'd see that x can't equal plus or minus i. And since that's imaginary, it's not going to cause trouble anyway. So our domain for this one is graphed in this picture. We're going to go from negative infinity to negative 1, not include that, and group that with from negative 1 to positive 4, and put a bracket there because this was less than or equal to, and it has the closed circle there. That's how you do number 15.